First, it's my pleasure to introduce Julie Rack from the Faculty of Arts, Department of English and Film Studies, to speak about what happened to the books in the basement, Inuit writing and government intervention, 1968 to 1985. Julie. Hi, everybody. From 1968 to 1985, a small division within the federal government pursued initiatives designed to encourage the development of Inuit literary production in Canada, at times acting without the knowledge of the writers themselves, officials within the Social and Cultural Development Division of Indian and Northern Affairs Canada, which is also known as the SCD Division, made programs aimed at what they called literature development and so intervened directly in book production by Inuit, buying parts of the print runs of books and storing them in the basement of its headquarters, giving copies away for free to visiting dignitaries. Inuit literature exploded onto the Canadian literary scene in the 1970s. How did the SCD division shape the publishing and circulation of that writing, and why was this done without the knowledge of the writers themselves? Dr. Keevy Martin and I discovered the work of the SCD division when Minnie Aldla Freeman, Inuk author of the reissued memoir, Life Among the Helenot, told us that without her permission, copies of the 1978 version of her book had been stored in the basement of the Department of Indian and Northern Affairs. What is more, we found out that this had been a regular practice. Many books, including Marcus's Harpoon of the Hunter, often called the first Inuit novel, had been treated in the same way. Our Shirk Insight-funded research team will investigate the history of government intervention in Indigenous writing before 1985, and it will make the findings known to the authors who were affected and to the Canadian public, and train Indigenous students to become researchers in the process. The team consists of six researchers at five universities. Myself is PI, Kiwi Martin, who is also at the University of Alberta, Warren Carriou, who is of Métis Heritage, who's at the University of Manitoba, Heather Iglo Liorte, who is Inuk at Concordia, Armand Rufo, who is Ojibwe at Queens, and Greg Younging, who is Cree at UBC Okanagan. We will ask why the SCD division intervened as it did, which books were funded and stored why authors weren't told about the practice, and generally what the rationale was for intervention. We want to find out how Inuit editors and writers found ways of using the SCD division goals for their own purposes too, including cultural preservation and the pursuit of land claims. Our team is dedicated to training Indigenous students, especially Inuit students, to conduct research in this area. We'll consult at all points in the process with Inuit writers and editors affected so that we do this research in a good way. We'll look for documents at Indigenous Affairs and the National Library of Canada, and we'll interview people who worked with the SCD division or who knew about it, especially Inuit writers and editors whose work was stored in the basement. We'll make a research blog to ensure transparency, and we'll share the findings with those writers affected and their families, with Inuit communities and with the Canadian public, who all should know what happened, why did this happen, and how does this affect what is known about Inuit writing right now? Thank you. Thank you.